So now you have finished all your lessons in connective tissue for the week. You will remember that we drew on several analogies right at the beginning to give you a conceptual understanding of what connective tissue is actually like. We drew upon our analogy of the bridge that connects one part of the city to the other. Then we had a look at the scaffold of a building and talked about the way that connective tissue forms a framework. And then if you can remember our orange peel exercise, where we looked at the way all those juicy pods were kept together by the different layers of connective tissue. So we now know how diverse this tissue type is and how abundant it is in our body. So thank you for joining me this week. And I hope as you progress through our lessons that you can now very comfortably be able to identify the different characteristics and the functional properties of connective tissue, discuss the types of cells and the types of fibres that we find in the different sort of locations of connective tissue that give it its distinctive properties and that you can now confidently identify and characterise the main types of connective tissues that we find in our body that range from our connective tissue proper, our blood and our skeleton. Next week, you will be meeting my colleague Kathy, who will be building on the knowledge that you've covered over the first three weeks of this course. So in week four, Kathy will take you through a week of learning all about muscle tissue. So it's time to recharge and take a short break and get ready for learning in week four. So thank you for coming along this week and it's bye from me for now.